historically it's been at six months. That's kind of before the first uh, estrus cycle. And the thought was, well, we don't want them to breed, so we take away their ability to breed. The consequence of that is that you remove the estrogen, okay? And it's pretty well established now that there's some real complications and significant problems with doing that. So if people, if they don't want to deal with a dog that goes through estrus or has the potential to be bred, then they need to spay them. Six months, I say. But there's a whole nother thought that, and it's my belief that if you want a dog that is the healthiest that particular patient can be, especially if it's a large breed dog, then you reconsider the age at which to spay them if you spay them, or you may want to consider what's called an ovary sparing spay where we retain the ovaries and we remove the uterus and the cervix. Okay, there's some interesting research that just came out of the University of Pennsylvania. I can't remember, but I read it the other day. And it said that estrogen, while it does lead to an increase in mammary cancer, in a dog, which it's really low, by the way, it's hard to find data on that, that that estrogen also plays a role in mitigating the progression of certain cancers in the body. Okay, so estrogen is important. And I can tell you, uh, if you spay a dog that's young and that dog is a larger breed dog, and it has bone problems, which that's well established too, from a lack of estrogen, people start to think differently. I can also tell you, it's pretty disheartening when you spay a dog, you know, young, and it comes back three or four, six months later, and it's got urinary incontinence from a lack of estrogen, which is a lifelong treatment. That makes people think differently about it. So I don't know the exact right way or wrong way. What I try to tell people is that you have to decide yourself whether you want what you want. But I do think that estrogen plays a real important role in maintaining the health. Typically, we have put it in a very negative light in veterinary medicine.